Hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, this new app called uh, issue layout that uh, was released recently on the marketplace so as you probably know that i review apps on a regular basis i keep an eye on the marketplace listing of uh, atlassian products and uh, i especially try and evaluate uh, the jira apps that are released uh, on the marketplace and uh, today i encountered this app called issue layout and it really seems so uh, interesting to me when i look at the description of the marketplace listing it says that uh, you can customize the layout of your issue there are unlimited possibilities so it it seems promising if i look at the uh, hosting option this app is uh, available only for the jira server version and of course uh, no it is only for jira server version not really for cloud and data center maybe they have plans to launch it for data center as well which is always good but if you look at the marketplace listing if you look at the thumbnail or the uh, description of these uh, images it says that uh, you can uh, have a unique view for your users display only necessary information focus your users time and energy into resolving uh, problems uh, the second thumbnail talks about define your header line create your own header header for every layout display needed information or even fields in your header uh, the next next screenshot talks about including the comment panel you can display comments as a separate pop up window which is uh, which is good uh, I, i like it uh, it seems promising and that is why i am reading it uh, the next uh, thumbnail or the screenshot talks about choose between all jira activities and decide which ones you need in your layout okay uh, drag and drop fields into your selected page layout so basically you can create different uh, layouts where you can uh, have your own fields which is uh, something you can't really do in jira natively you have a layout that is already fixed for you you have of course your uh, jira issue uh, fields like system fields on top you have those buttons on top and on the right hand side you have people dates and a few additional uh, things and of course you have the comments at the very bottom so i think using this uh, add on you can customize the layout completely and to be honest i never really personally used any such add on before I, i'm not I, i'm not even sure if uh, there is an add on already that can do the same thing if i have to do something uh, similar i'll probably use css or maybe javascript to basically move things around now or maybe i'll uh, just uh, modify uh, um maybe the velocity templates but that is not really recommended to be honest but uh, having this uh, this this option to who manage it from the ui or maybe using the jira administration section could be interesting so i normally also look at the documentation of uh, the apps so there is a documentation which you can read if you want so it says that you can create layouts and it also says that you can also create some layout schemes which is in my opinion really good because the the concept of schemes in jira is uh, something really interesting you can uh, use schemes to map your layout in this case or any other configuration like workflow fields screens uh, to a specific project and uh, uh, i have already installed it on one of my instance of jira so let me just take a look at my uh, my manage apps where i can uh, probably show you what will you get after installing the uh, the the app called issue layout so this is the issue layout app which i just installed and uh, i am using a using an evaluation license which is now valid for uh, i believe uh, one month now there is no button here that says uh, manage uh, configuration or there is no option to configure it so i guess i need to figure out uh, what to do with this app 
and if i look at the documentation it says uh, schemes so whenever you hear the word scheme in jira you can go directly to your uh, issues if you go to the jira admin section on the very top and then if you go to the issues you will find all the uh, schemes that you have uh, in your jira instance of course you need to be jira administrator or uh, jira system administrator to manage the uh, configurations in jira especially the schemes and if you look at uh, this section here called issues you have of course uh, the option to create issue type workflows and uh, ski screens but we are interested in uh, issue layout so this issue layout is uh, something that is not there in jira natively you need some add-on like uh, issue layout so this issue layout add-on brought these new features so the moment i click on layouts it is giving me some options already uh, simple layout single page other header and this is something that i really like when you have let us say a new app or a new plugin or add-on whatever you whatever you want to call it the moment you install it when you have something like a, like a template that you can use immediately without worrying about the documentation it is always good so i think the, i think it is really good that there are some layouts that you can use immediately and uh, there is an option to also add your own layout which we will not do in this video we'll probably uh wait for maybe more uh, more experimentation i'll probably spend some time with this uh, with this add-on or an app uh, and i'll probably make one more video i'm not sure but i will try so i will also look at these layouts that are already there for us to use in the project or in our instance of jira so the first option here is to click on this pencil which is i believe the option to change the name of the layout which is correct we can change the name uh, we can change the name of the layout then we can go to the second option called settings there is no hover like you know mouse hover tips uh, but it is fine because uh, i know that uh, this gear sign is for settings but i think uh, having some uh, tool tip uh, uh, is always good to have for someone who is probably new to jira um, i think uh, there should be some indication so the moment i click on it i can uh, see uh, some configurations that i can do and on top on the right hand side i can choose the layout which is something similar to the dashboards where you have uh, two columns or one column or maybe two columns with one column slightly bigger than uh, the uh, uh, the other column and uh, if you look at the simple layout section on the le on the left hand side here you have the project sidebar so i believe you can configure what you want to display on the sidebar uh, you can either choose default or you can uh, choose hide let let me just you know stick to the default and uh, on the left hand side it says uh, dates development agile uh, issue deployment, hip, hip chat discussions, details, traceability, issues in Epic, child issue, issues, and uh, there are of course few other things. On the right hand side, you have the header where again you have default and custom. And uh, I am actually interested in uh, in uh, understanding what you can do with the header. So it says header fields, and it says uh, select fields, and I believe you can select. Uh, your own custom field if you want or any other field it says summary style show issue type so it it, it seems quite uh, comprehensive uh, uh, not really comprehensive but uh, you have a lot of options to to uh, do here when it comes to the uh, the add-on itself and uh, you have some configurations not some configurations but you have a lot of config configurations that you can change which i like which is always good so uh, you can also do some custom header where you can decide what fields you want but i'll probably stick to default let us see how it looks like then you have issue content and you have of course the option to display the description then you have issue layout tabbed panel so i think these are some tabs that will appear then you have the activity you can see here of course the option to add a comment 
I believe. Okay, so on the right hand side, here you have the sidebar where you can see the SLA if it is service desk or you have people. Then you have, of course, uh, issue view any approval status. So it is not that different from what you normally see. But the good thing is that you can always uh, control and uh, change. So let us uh, go back to the previous uh, screen and let us click on the layout schemes. So basically I want to use this particular uh, scheme in my project and I will, uh, I'll probably open one of my project called project X, which is uh, uh, a project that uh, I really want to use and change the layout. So right now I don't really see any difference in the layout after installing the app. But if I go back to the layout scheme, I believe I can create a layout scheme like maybe scrum based projects. I'll probably use it for my uh, project X. So I can select here the project X, which is something that I just used. I just showed you this project X. And the good thing is that you can also map it to a specific uh, issue type, which is in my opinion, really good. So if I go back to my project X, I have the option to take a look at the subtask or maybe if I go to the parent, let me go back to the parent. So this is my story. So let us uh, map this, uh, this layout to my story and subtask. And it is asking us to select the layout. So you have the option to use either system default, which I believe we don't really want. We want to see how it looks like uh, when you use a simple layout. So when you click on simple layout, you can click on the add and uh, that is it. I guess I, I, I can probably go back to my, to my uh, issue, which is story. And if I do a refresh, let us see if I, 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 if I if I see any change. So I do see a change and uh, I see less information, which is uh, not bad actually, because uh, I just want to focus on maybe few things. So I can uh, see here immediately that uh, the moment I select simple layout, and I used a scheme, I can immediately see a change. Let me select maybe something else, maybe a single page layout. And if I save it, if I go back to my issue, if I refresh, I see no sidebar at all. And I do see like a tab here, which is great. I can see here uh, uh, all those fields like people, field tab, description, and there is a comment as well. Let me also try one more layout. Maybe I'll select uh, other header. So this is saved. If I go back to my issue and if I do a refresh, I can see uh, it is something similar to the first one, but uh, of course we can create more views or more layouts. But overall, I think this app or this, uh, this plugin or this uh, add-on is quite interesting. I never really tried changing the layouts using an app. In fact, I'm not really familiar with any app uh, that can actually do this uh, layout change of, of your Jira issue view. But I think I like it. Uh, I'll be honest, of course, because I'm do doing a review, I need to be honest with uh, what I uh, what I feel about uh, this uh, app. So this app seems to be really interesting. And the good thing is that uh, it is quite configurable. It is not like you install the app and you have like few options uh, where you have one layout for all the issues across Jira. You have a concept of different layouts and you also have the con concept of uh, creating a scheme because with the help of a scheme, you can map it to different uh, projects. And also you can map it to a specific uh, issue type, which is really great in uh, my opinion. So if I probably go back very quickly and if I take a look at, uh, maybe I want to have a different scheme for bug under my scrum based projects or maybe uh, any project so I can hopefully select the same project, my project X, can I select my project X? Yes, I can. 
and I can select here maybe should I which is bug and then I can select maybe a different layout for my bug issue type. So for the same project, I have uh, two different uh, layouts based on uh, based on of course uh, the uh, issue type which is uh, quite good and I think uh, the UI or the experience when I'm working with the app uh, when I'm using the app it, it is quite smooth it is uh, very well uh, integrated with uh, the Jira UI and uh, I feel comfortable using it as an expert as, as a consultant um, I, I may not be an expert but I, I've been using Jira for quite a while um, more than a decade now and that is why I feel comfortable and I think uh, the end users they will also be uh, comfortable using this app so yeah thumbs up I like this app and uh, I will probably keep this app uh, installed on my test instance of Jira and I will uh, continue using it if required I'll probably create a follow-up uh, video like you know using issue layout for three months or maybe after a few weeks I'll I'll probably uh, give you my update if there is a need to give you an update in future about uh, how this app uh, works I uh, will probably try to do a deep dive on uh, changing changing the layout adding on fields at different positions or maybe adding a, a tab and I will keep you guys posted so uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.